Hello and welcome. The first modern drone was the de Havilland DH-82B Queen B, which was used as a low-cost radio control drone developed for target practice. That was in 1935. However, it was earlier, in 1783, that craft that operated without human control were first invented. Since then, there have been many craft including balloons, rockets, torpedoes, boats, and aircraft that qualify as unmanned vehicles or drones. As a teenager, I flew radio-controlled model aircraft, kind of like a drone being controlled remotely. The consumer drone market developed from about 2006 with companies like Parrot, DJI, and 3DR producing drones which could be controlled and flown to where they could video or photograph. Drones are ideal for going where it is dangerous for humans to do so, such as near oil rig fires. The sophistication of drone technology is astounding. Multiple drones can fly in formation, producing spectacular lighting effects. However, as with all new technology, there is a dark side to the use of drones. No fence or border or jail wall is capable of stopping drones. Drones smuggle drugs across the border into the USA, guns into Canada from the USA, and contraband is smuggled across jail walls. How then to stop them? It is challenging. Drones can be flown at night with great precision and are almost silent. They can be pre-programmed so detectable radio control is not necessary. Drones include not just aerial drones, but craft that cross land on water or underwater. These are threats that are testing the sharpest minds. Australian company Drone Shield, for instance. Their artificial intelligence, optical and thermal target identification and tracking has been internationally recognised. A target can be identified as a particular brand of drone, thus knowing properties of speed, flight duration and capabilities and naturally excluding other objects such as birds. Their static sentries are deployed at airports, stadium, jails and utilities to stop the bad guys. Then there are the active means of bringing down drones using drone guns. The drone is disrupted, returning to the ground where the software can be interrogated to discover where it took off and perhaps by whom. We have been awed by the military's use of large drones over battlefields. No less important is the counter drone war that is being waged now against the bad guys who are using affordable, sophisticated small drones. Here are examples of drone fighting technology. Thank you for watching. We're living in unprecedented times. We already keep an eye out for threats to our privacy, security and safety. And we protect ourselves in numerous ways. But there's a rising threat to our organisations. A new way to target our sports and entertainment venues, our airports and critical infrastructure, our prisons, even our government facilities and military bases. And the threat comes from above. Drones. They're a powerful tool when used correctly, creating new opportunities and transforming the way we work. But in the wrong hands, they can cause substantial damage. With millions taking flight worldwide and their capabilities constantly evolving, the threat from rogue drones is very real. So our eyes now turn to the skies. With counter drone solutions from BT, we can provide safeguards. Our multi-sensor technology helps you determine if a drone is a danger and pinpoint it before it becomes a problem. We'll assess your site for risks and install a tailored detection system so you can monitor your surroundings and receive early warnings. 
making it easier for you to identify and track threats. Whatever organizations you run, it's time to safeguard your skies.